Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. As all the results were coming in, uh, it was a joy to most normal people. But for one person in particular, it seemed to be the best night ever. That person was J.K. Rowling. Uh, as the results came in and things were announced, she was in a fit of absolute joy. Even took to uh, Twitter and made some posts, which we'll come to. Uh, she had uh, particular disdain for John Nicholson and Kirsten Oswald. Uh, and how Kirsten Oswald wasn't arrested over part of Branchwell, I'll never know. Her grubby little fingers were all over that. But uh, Nicholson was there. He was in um, Alloa, Alloa Town Hall. And when he was giving his speech, he was crying, oh, bless. Not at the loss of serving the people of Alloa, of course. Oh, no. He was crying at the loss of his adequate salary and wonderful expenses. After all, who's going to employ him in the future? A failed politician from a dodgy outfit like the SNP. He's done. Actually, isn't he... He's lost his job twice now, hasn't he? That's the second time he's been voted out. Oh, well, never mind. He can go back and write puff pieces, I suppose, in the National. Seems to be what they do. Um, anyway, Sturgeon got it as well. Um, she said, this is J.K. Rowling, on seeing Sturgeon's face as the results were announced, she said, uh, nobody likes Schadenfreude. She said, but, you know, that said, Nicholas Sturgeon's expression at the exit poll, as the exit poll results were announced, dot, dot, dot. Look, well, yeah, and we all saw that. I don't. Well, if you didn't, you missed out there. Face like thunder. It was awful. But uh, yeah, as I say she had a, had a pop at Oswald and Nicholson, um, quite rightly too, uh, because Oswald, if you remember, now given um, J.K. Rowling's stance on uh, women's rights and things, because Oswald uh, last year was photographed. Uh, beside um, a sign at a, tur a trans rally saying decapitate all turfs. Um, so, yes, yeah, so she's calling for the murder. This is our Kirsten Oswald was calling for the murder of women who stood up for women's rights. Uh, and she, she wrote uh, on X, Kirsten Oswald has lost her parliamentary seat. Incredibly, it seems that palling around with people who want to decapitate women isn't a vote winner. Sweet. Uh, and then, of course, she also, like I say, had uh, a little pop at Nicholson. Um, he says, um, you know, because she, well, basically can't stand him, but I don't think a lot of people can. Because uh, the Edinburgh-based author, um, she was quick to troll, troll him on X. And she posted a picture of him alongside a quote attributed to him from September 22, where it read, you are a lesbian because you declare yourself one. And she put... Now try declaring yourself a winner, John. Ouch, what a burn. It is good, though. It's good to see that JK is still vitriolic in victory against these craven assholes. Um, they, they stand there on this platitude, sorry, this platform of um, uh, virtuousness, which is never that, because their virtuousness is always shrouded in hate for those who disagree with them. And when you're calling for women to be killed, like Kirsten Oswald, well, you get all you deserve. Thanks, JK. Keep up the good work. Bye.